Hello students, welcome to Heritage Bank and Financial Literacy Program, which focuses on increasing the awareness of the importance of savings as a path to financial empowerment among students and individuals in Nigeria. My name is Ifie Sekibo. I'm the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Heritage Bank PLC. Financial Literacy Day is celebrated globally and this year's event falls on 25th of March 2021, which is a Thursday. The pandemic has caused a lot of economic recession today. It's important to start this discussion with you at a very early stage. As your timeless wealth partner, we are mandated to impact knowledge that will assist you in your journey to becoming successful adults and build a culture of savings that will enable you to achieve financial stability and secure your future. In this lesson, you will learn about money, discover how to earn money, how to create a budget, and how to save. We are going to have a wonderful time talking about money and how to use it properly. My job is to see you all become good managers of money as you grow up and as time begins now. Today's outline, we talk about financial literacy, we talk about money and how to get money, how money evolves, some people that regulate um, our industry, essentially the banks, what is money, what is a budget, the difference between needs and wants, how to save your money, the benefits of using a bank, and the type of the bank account. And I also talk about a particular bank account that I will want to introduce to you. Then I will conclude. Financial literacy is your ability to understand how money works in the world. It teaches you how to earn and make money, how to manage money, how to invest money, and how you can use it to help others. Being financial literate will help you to build a lifetime of financial well-being. In essence, what I'm saying is, if you understand or have financial um, knowledge, it will help you to secure your financial future. You become responsible with money. You learn how to plan and how to spend money. You also learn how to better make financial choices. You also learn more skills that you use in future life. What is money? Money can be defined as anything you can accept as a payment from people or by people for goods and services that we buy or render. What does money do? One, money is a means of exchange. It's a way we want to use in storing value and it is a unit of measurement. Essentially how you compare one item to the other. For instance, if you have to compare how much a shirt costs or two shirts cost, the money is based on which you see which shirt you want to buy and which you don't want to buy. I want to give you some general information about money. One, it's generally accepted as a means of payment for the goods and services which I mentioned earlier and it is in form of coins or notes. It is what the country, what we call the legal tender of a country. It is also used to store your value, which I've earlier mentioned. And in Nigeria, we call our money Naira and Kobo. What do we use money for? Money can be used for a variety of things, such as buying new things that we need, like buying a game or tickets to go and watch a movie. It also helps to make choices in exchange for whether you need something or you want something. When you think about going to a movie, you have to make a choice whether I want to watch a scary movie or I want to watch a funny movie. Once you make the choice, it is the money that you spend on the choice you make. But how do you get money? Most people get money by working, which is their career, or by doing small menial jobs which is um, liberal or labor or they call it manual job. And when you do that, they pay you a salary. That salary is called your income and that is the money you get. And when you earn that money, you can spend that money in several ways. And as a young person, 
you also can earn money and you can earn money by helping your parents in the house do chores or them giving you pocket money when you want to go to school you know there are actually many ways many more ways of making money that i've talked about i've talked about if you do chores in the house um, you help your mother wash your dish or you help your father um, wash his car you help your sister wash her clothes or you help uh, go to a message for your elder brothers or friend or your elder uh, friends they will then give you money because you help them that money you can begin to save and you can put, take that as part of your pocket money before I, I talk about the accounts let me discuss how do money come about a long time ago we used to have things called calories and gold as money then there was no paper money it is long long time ago so we started with things like trade by butter you give somebody what they need and you take what you need you give him maybe um, yam he gives you plantain if you give him um, plantain he gives you banana if you give him rice he gives you beans we'll call that trade by butter after that we went to a point where we use small items called calories we use those calories in exchange for the things we need and from calories we moved on to things like the paper money which we call currencies currencies allow us this type of carrying the bulk calories to be able to store the things that we need so that is how money came about it is because we want to be able to exchange goods and services because we want to store up the things we have and get value for the things we produce and that is how money came about now in nigeria the central bank of nigeria controls the activities of banks and all people who are involved in the financial institutions that deal with money how they move money around in the economy how people spend their money how people make sure that their money is saved the central bank gives directives for monies that you put in the bank to be safe. There are other people that we also call regulators, minus the central bank. One of them is called the Nigerian Deposit Insurance Commission, NDIC. They serve as a safety net for the monies you put in the bank. Another group of uh, regulators are called the Security and Exchange Commission, which regulates, they regulate what happens in the capital market. That is a much, much advanced uh, way of money movement then of course because people work and they grow old we call they when they can't work anymore they receive pension and there is a group of organizations that look after those pension monies but their regulator is called pension commission and of course when things go bad when you lose your goods when fire takes care uh, burns any of your goods you want somebody to be able to replace them we call that insurance and in that sector the nigerian insurance commission becomes the uh, regulatory body now let's talk how we manage money in order to manage money you need to learn what we call budget budget essentially is planning what are the things i want to buy how much i will need to buy those things that is what we call budget you write out the things you want to buy and how much they will cost you to buy them when you create that kind of list we call it a budget and as you write them down you begin to know if you have more money than what you can spend or less money than what you can spend if you have more money than what you can spend it means you have amounts that you can save if you have less money than what you can spend which means you don't have enough you need to work a lot more harder to be able to get the difference either by going to wash more plates for your mother or do more chores so that you can be able to uh, get enough money to meet your budget now when you also have a budget it also makes it uh, helps you so that you don't just wake up and go and spend the money anyhow because you have written what you really want to buy and what you really need 
is different from what you really want. So if you want to focus on what you need, which is things that you actually is important for you to survive, then you need to be able to avoid spending money anyhow so that there is always money for you to buy those things that you really need. Why is it important that we create a budget when managing our money? When you create a budget, it helps you to distinguish between what you need and what you want. I will later explain to you the difference between need and want. It also helps you to stop spending anyhow. It reduces the anxiety of not knowing whether you have enough money to cover your expenses because you've already planned for it. It gives you control over what you really have as what you call financial situation. It also helps to build a healthy financial future for yourself. It also helps you to make good choices. You buy the things you need first, then you begin to look at what you want later. Now, let me try to explain. I've been using the word needs and wants. Many people think needs and wants are the same thing. Need are those things that we cannot do without. They are necessities. Wants are those things we do need but we can do without. So if you need something and that you can do without it. For example, I need food to survive. I need shelter, house to live in. I need your, you need your school books. You need to pay your school fees. Those are needs. But once are things like, oh, I want a bicycle, I want a new toy, I want a new video game, I want a new skateboard. Those are wants. Now, you need to distinguish between the needs which are important for you to survive and the wants. And part of managing your money is making sure you understand the difference between needs and wants. Now, let's talk about saving your money. To save money means that you have to set aside some part of what you earn. If mommy gives you 10 naira, you want to put 2 naira aside and only spend 8 naira. That difference you put aside is what we call savings. It is always very good culture, it's very good habit to always, no matter how things are with you, to put aside some little money. They said, when you save now, it's when the rainy days come, you have enough to be able to take care of your rainy days. So learn to save. Make it a habit. Always put aside some little money. It doesn't have to be big. You can start with very little amounts from your income. And the safest place to save your money is in a bank. Many people put their money in under their pillows. They put their money under their mattresses. They put their money inside their houses. But I'm saying that the best place to save money is a bank. A bank is a financial institution which is licensed by the government, licensed by what we call the central bank, to be able to receive this money, keep it safe, and even help lend the money out. And when you come for your money, you can see your money. You can save your money in one of the savings accounts we have in Heritage Bank. It's called the board savings account. It pays you interest, which means when you put money in the account, the small you put, they will pay you some money for putting money in the bank. That's what we call interest on the money you save. Now, what are the benefits of using Heritage Bank to save your money or any other bank? Money kept in your box, under your mattress, in your purse can be stolen. The money kept in the bank will stay safe because it is being regulated. And so you call that safety. The first benefit of putting money in Heritage Bank is safety. The second benefit is that it is convenient because when you keep the money in the bank, anytime you want the money, you can go and access the money. And these days, that we have digital banking where you have your uh, ATM cards, your POSs, your ATM machines. It's easy and convenient for you to go anytime to assess your money. And the third reason, benefit of saving money, is that your money grows. When you keep money in a bank, you get interest, which helps your money grow. So keep your, do not keep your money in your pocket or in your house. 
learn to keep your money no matter how small in a savings account in a bank in heritage bank we have a number of accounts where you can put your money you have the current account which is for mostly senior people not for children but once you're over 18, it's important you have what you call a current account so that you can learn how to differentiate between what you save and what you spend. And of course, we also have the savings account. We have those ones we call the investment account where we put money for a given period of time and after which you can take it and put it in your current account or savings account. You have another one called domiciliary account. It looks a big name, but it is where you put if you earn dollars, if you earn pounds, if you earn euro or any other currency other than naira, you can put it in your domiciliary account. And when they are, when you be grow up to own your own company, you can then have what we call the corporate account, which means minus your own account, you can have an account for your company or your business. Now, let me push you back to the board savings account. The board savings account is specially made by Heritage Bank for young children. From when you are a almost zero less than uh, you're less than one year to when you're 18 years it gives your parents the opportunity to help you save money for you securely it also helps you to learn the habit of controlling how much you spend every time it teaches you how to spend the money every time now it is you can open that account or your parents can open the account for you with just two thousand naira when you have that kind of account, you get special invitations to children's party, to birthday parties, you get a birthday call, you get gifts from the bank. Even teach you how to spend money, we teach, give you this kind of training of how to use your money. Whenever your birthday comes, we will have to call you to say it's happy birthday and we give you gifts. We even give financial assistance and sometimes give you cards to any team program that you have. We even pay interest of almost as good as 2% on that account for you in what we call the board account. For those of you that are teachers, Heritage Bank also have something for you that while you're teaching the students how to save, you two need to show by example that you need to save. And for that, we have kept what we call the SSU savings scheme for teachers. That account, you can open with just 2,000 Naira. It is flexible as a savings account. You can save for only three months. You can save for only six months. You can save for only nine months, or you can save for one year. The saving, like I said, the saving benchmark is as low as 2,000 Naira. You get invitation to team programs that we might even be able to organize. The interest is even attractive as high as 5%, which is more than the current um, treasury bills that the government give to us and it also helps you to create a regular saving habit by setting up what we call a standing order that every month from a salary 2,000 naira should go to my SISU account so that I will learn the habit of saving and also train my children how to save. Students, it's very important that at an early age, very early age in life, it doesn't matter once you start any money, you learn to begin to save. When you learn to save, you learn to order your life. You learn to make good choices. You learn to plan yourself in terms of what you want and what you need. Today, I'm telling you, be smart, know how to save. Don't spend all the money you have and spend wisely. God bless you. Thank you so much.